Dr. Manjunath has sent this biopsy. Look at the clinical features. This is a 4 millimeter biopsy that is sent. So just look at uh, the biopsy. How the skin section is on the slide. Scanner view of the entire lesion. Okay. So where do you think is the lesion? Epidermis appears quite dark. And beneath also there is a dark band. Now observe methodically the sections. So I have put scanner view low power, medium and high power pictures. So what is this lesion? There is hyperkeratosis laminated to compact. See the lesional skin with compact hyperkeratosis and adjacent normal skin with basket weave keratin. There is acanthosis with wedge shaped hypergranulosis. Look at the epidermis, it is acanthotic, it is irregular type. There is sawtoothed appearance of the basal layer of the epidermis that is elongated retail with sharp edges. There is lichenoid infiltrate closely hugging the epidermis. It is band of inflammatory infiltrate consisting of lymphocytes, macrophages, and melanophages. It obscures dermoepidermal junction. Cells here, that is the basal layer, shows vacuolar alteration, vacuolar degeneration. With presence of necrotic keratinocytes, apoptotic bodies, which are called as civete bodies. This biopsy shows very high nice Max Joseph space. We say artifactual separation between epidermis and dermis. Many a times, if it is formed in vivo, it forms vesicular type of lichen planus. These vesicles develop due to extensive damage to the basal cells. Let's look at some more changes under high power. This is wedge shaped hypergranulosis and compact hyperkeratosis. See the Max Joseph space, inflammatory infiltrate in the upper dermis. So biopsy shows features of interface dermatitis. So lot of melanophages, they all appearing as cells containing brown black pigment. Plenty of melanophages are there. Again hyper. Look at the civete body. These are necrotic keratinocytes, apoptotic bodies. They usually present in the epidermis or in the upper part of the dermis amongst the inflammatory infiltrate. They may be present anywhere from dermis to keratin layer. You can see dense inflammatory infiltrate here. There is Max Joseph space. All those small dark round uh, blue cells are uh, lymphocytes. Inflammatory cells, many melanophages are uh, seen. Look at the arrow pointing towards basal vacuolar degeneration. So we are not able to make out the basement membrane at all. There is vacuolar degeneration of basal cells. There is actually compact hyperkeratosis. And look at the hypergranulosis, which is uneven and appears as wedge shaped. And these granular cells are large. They've got quite coarse uh, granules, keratohyaline granules. So next feature is we need to observe civete bodies which are necrotic keratinocytes. They're about 20 microns in size and they're present in the epidermis, lower epidermis or papillary dermis. You can see many of them here. They're eosinophilic homogeneous bodies which are PAS positive. So putting all the microscopic findings together, Compact hyperkeratosis, no parakeratosis, irregular acanthosis, sawtoothed appearance, hypergranulosis, especially wedge shaped, band of inflammatory infiltrate closely hugging the epidermis, 
Max Joseph Space Basal Macular Degeneration, Civete Bodies, Inflammatory Infiltrate Consisting of Lymphocytes, Macrophages and Plenty of Melanophages. So what is the diagnosis? We have seen all the features here. So it is lichen planus interface dermatitis.